ask Miss Claire. I'll see. It's down to 49. The plants are in danger. Yes, yes, that's fine. Conservatory for coffee. Ah, 
Let's see. Have we got everything? Uh, Miss Claire will be very angry. Where is the salt? I am very angry. Did I choose to eat my breakfast at the other side of a blizzard? The temperature has already fallen. I must report. Uh, Miss Claire, it is Anthony. A terrible thing has happened. Mr. Archer, what? Yes, a terrible thing. Yes, it is about Mr. Archer. No, 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 not dead. But here, he is here. Well, yes, he's well. He seems well. But he's eating his breakfast. Yes, he's having his breakfast out here. For himself, and the other gentlemen are to come too. Well, he seemed to be annoyed because the heat had been turned off from the house. But the door keeps opening. The stormy wind blowing right over the fence. The temperature has already fallen. Yes. Yes, I, I thought you'd want to come. Haven't you learned the best place to hide is in the truth? 
Why won't you believe me, Harry, when I tell you the truth about doors being locked? Now, Claire, it is selfish of you to keep us from eating salt just because you don't eat salt. Oh, Harry, try your egg without salt, please. Please, try your egg without salt. An egg demands salt. An egg demands salt. Do you know, Harry, why you're such an unseasoned person? An egg demands salt. Who doesn't know he's getting But your spirit gets no lift from the salt with hell. Not an inch of it. <laughs> and please, so pleased with itself because it gets no lift. In short, it's just the right kind of spirit for getting no lift. But Dick, you must have tried your egg without salt. I'll try it now. You must have tried and tried things. Isn't that the way one leaves the normal and gets into the byways of the perversion? Claire, uh, if so, I prefer to wait for the salt. Claire, there's a limit. Precisely what I had in mind. To perversion, too, there is a limit. So fortifications are unassailable. If one ever does get out, I suppose it is quite unexpectedly and perhaps a bit terrible. Get out where? Where you, darling, will never go. Mm. And from which you, darling, had better be it. I wish I could. <laughs> no, no, I don't either. Ah! You cannot smoke in here! The plants are not used to it. Then I should think it would be just a thing for them! There is design. Am I to be answered? I can never be sure at what moment I am answered. What is this you're doing, Claire? Colonizing. Crossing for fragrance. It's all rather mysterious, isn't it? Mm. The Claire doesn't make it any less so. Can I make life any less mysterious? If you know what you're doing, why can't you tell Dick? Never mind, anyways. Why should I be told? I am trying to give fragrance to breath of life. This flower I have created that is outside what flowers have been. But no definite fragrance, no limited enclosing thing. I call the fragrance I'm trying to create reminiscence. Reminiscent of the rose, the violet, arbutus, but a new thing itself. Breath of life may be lonely out in what hasn't been. Perhaps someday I can give it reminiscence. I see, Claire. I wonder if you do. <laughs> now, Claire, you're going to be happy today, aren't you? These are Tom's last couple of days with us. That doesn't make me especially happy. You wanted to be. You wanted to know him. You wanted to know you as yourself, don't you? I would like him to. Oh, I would like him to. Well, then be amusing. It's really you, isn't it, Dick? Not quite all of her, I should say. <laughs> Careful, Dick. Aren't you indiscreet? Harry will be suspecting I am your latest whore. Claire, what language do you use? Person. Knowing you only by certain moments could never be made to believe that you are a uh, refined woman. True, isn't it, Dick? We could do another lark to let them listen in at times and then tell them, here is the flower of America. Well, if this is the flower of America that half has never been told. About America? I thought I meant that. Explain that this is what came of the men who made the laws that made this country. That here is the flower of those gentlemen of culture who, those gentlemen who, who molded the American mind. Uh, well, now what's the matter? I want to get away from them. Well, rest easy, little one. You do. I'm not so sure that I do, but it can be done. We need not be held in forms molded for us. There is outness and otherness. Claire, I didn't mean to start anything serious. No, you never mean to do that. I want to break it up. I tell you, I want to break it up. If it were all in pieces, we'd be shocked to aliveness, wouldn't we? There would be strange new comings together, mad new comings together, and we would know what it is to be born, and then we might know that we are. 
Smash it. Like you smash an egg. All you've managed to smash is an egg. And all that amounts to is that now Tom gets no egg. So that's that. <laughs> you think I can't smash anything? You think life can't break up and go outside what it was? Because you've gone dead in the form in which you found yourself. You think that's all there is to the whole adventure. And that is called sanity and made a virtue to lock one in. You've never worked with things that grow, things that take a sporting chance that sanity mayn't lock them in from life, untouched from life, that waits. Breath of life. Boy, I wish I wouldn't say strange things like that. <laughs> what is it? What's the matter? It's clearly the excess of an extremely huge temperament, I should say. This man's growing on her. I somehow don't think that all of this is a good thing. It would be all right if she'd just do what she did in the beginning, which is make the flowers as good as possible of their kind. That's an awfully nice thing for a woman to do, raise flowers. But this business of, of changing things into other things, of, of putting things together and making insane new things, this, this, this is creative. Oh, any aim you want it to have, it's unsettling for a woman. Well, they say Claire's a shark in it, but what's the good if it gets her? What's the good of it anyway? Suppose we can't produce new things. Lord, look at the ones we've got. Heavens, what a noise the winters make about this place. Oh, I want my egg. <laughs> I can't eat an egg without salt. I must say I don't get Claire lately. I'd like to have Charlie Evans see her. He's fixed up a lot of people shot to pieces in the war. Claire needs something to uh, jolt her nerves up. You think it would irritate her? She'd probably get little to no entertainment out of it. Yes, doggone her, she would. Funny <laughs> how the wind can fool you. <laughs> now by now, turning around, I could almost imagine. <laughs> Imagine anything. Funny, isn't it? Imagination. Claire says I haven't got any. <laughs> yes. It would make an amusing drawing. What the wind makes you think is there. Yes. Why, job, I should say. You're another one of those bohemians, aren't you? <laughs> Come on. Give us the dirt. Hmm? Have you Bohemians really got anything? Or do you just put it over on us that you have? Eh? Not saying anything, eh? Well, you're wise there. If you keep mum, how can we prove there's nothing there? Huh? I don't keep mum. They draw. But all I ask is that you don't, don't go make Claire Bohemian. Claire is the first water good sport, really, so, so don't, don't encourage her to be Bohemian. Trouble is, if you're bohemian enough to be amusing, you might open the door to bohemia. No, don't say things like that to Claire. I don't have to. Then you think she's bohemian, do you? As bohemian as you? I'd like to have Dr. Evans out. You know, somehow I doubt if you're a good influence for Claire. I don't worry a bit about things that a husband might worry about. I suppose an intellectual woman. And for all Claire's hate of her ancestors, she's got the bug herself. Why, she has this way of boring into things until she doesn't know you're there. What do you think I caught her doing the other day? Hmm? Hmm? Reading Latin. <laughs> well, a woman that reads Latin doesn't worry a husband much. Said a great deal of A woman that spends a good deal inside her head never really does have much uh, passion. I suppose you know all there is to know about women. Huh? Perhaps one or two details have escaped. Well, for that matter, you may know all there is to know about women and not know very much about Claire. 
Okay. About this um, whole uh, feeling, Claire has a, a, a certain, uh, well, a certain uh, iron, which is more, more, uh, more, more fetching, perhaps. Yes, yes, than the thing itself. Of course, you wouldn't have uh, much of a thing to have irony about. I would not. I mean, I may not. I'd like to get Edgeworthy out to see Clara, talk to her. It's not easy to get Clara to talk to Tom, or to Tom to talk about Clara. Mm. They're very old friends, aren't they? Yes, they are. Although they haven't seen much of each other of late years. Edgeworthy always going to the ends of the earth to uh, meditate about something. And if I must say, I don't get it. If you have a place, and that's a place for you to be, and he, he did have a place. Best family connections. And a very good business his father left him. Publishing business. Uh, good shape too when old Edgeworthy died. I wouldn't call Tom a great success in life, but Claire does listen to what he says, and uh, so I'd yes, like to, to, to I, talk to her. I know. I'd like to get him to tell him to quit this insane business of growing things that never grew before. But are you sure that's what he would tell her? Is it in the same business himself? Why, well, he doesn't raise anything. <laughs> Anyways, I have a feeling he thinks that we can very well reach him. Damn nonsense. What have you got intelligence for? To let each other alone, I suppose. Although I don't think we have enough to do. Well, don't tell me I'm getting nerves. But the way some of you people talk, it's enough to make an even an aviator jumpy. <laughs> can't reach each other. Then we're fools. If I'm here and you're there, why can't we reach each other? Because I am I and you are you. No wonder your drugs don't make any sense. <laughs> can't reach each other. <laughs> Oh. oh! Why, it's Tom! What's the... Oh, he's locked out! And... Oh, and Claire's got the key! And she's locked in! Claire! Claire! Claire's got the key, and I can't get to Claire. Claire has the key! Going down the cellar? Bolted. Oh, I love the way she keeps people locked out. And hit. Didn't you hear the revolver? Oh, awfully sorry, old man. Clep, he can't understand. He can't hear me. Are you? Well, ah! No, no. Uh, oh, is he asking if he shall shoot himself? <laughs> no, no, uh, 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 uh. No, no, um, hardly seems a man would shoot himself because he can't get to his breakfast. Well, I'm coming to believe he would do anything. No, 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 not here. Not here. Don't shoot yourself. Shoot yourself. I mean, don't, no, no. All right, read my lips, lips, lips. Um, uh, we wanted this. So, oh, damn, where is Claire? All right, I'll explain it in motions, all right? We wanted the salt, salt. <laughs> <laughs> but Claire wouldn't let us go on account of the temperature. The temperature. <sighs> temperature. Temperature. Tempera. Tem. 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 Her. Her. Salt. 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 <laughs> temperature. <sighs> what to do with a man don't get a thing? Oh, Claire! Claire! Tom is going to shoot himself! What, what is Tom doing out there with a the revolver? He's going to shoot himself because you've locked him out from his breakfast. He must know more interesting ways of destroying himself. Good morning. Isn't it strange? Our being in here and he being out there. Claire! Where's your sense of hospitality? Let him in. In? Perhaps that isn't hospitality. Well, whatever it is, whatever hospitality is, what is out there is snow and wind. And our guests we've invited for breakfast. Oh, to think a man has such things. I'm going to let him in. No, I like his look out there. Good. <laughs> now, the door is going to open, so we can go for salt, we can have our eggs. <laughs> and open the door again to let the salt in? No! If you insist on salt for your egg, tell Tom now to go back and get it. It's a stormy morning, there'll be just one opening of the door. How can we tell him what we can't make him hear? 
And why does he think we're holding this conversation instead of letting him in? That would be interesting to know. I wonder if he'll tell us. Claire, is this any time to wonder if he did? Give up the idea of salt for your egg, and I'll let him in. I want my egg! Then ask him to bring the salt. It's quite simple. Thank heaven that's over. Oh, it was so interesting. He locked out on his side of the door. You locked in on yours, looking right at each other, and, and me trying to tell him to kindly fetch the salt. Well, I didn't do so bad a job, did I? <laughs> that was quite an idea, right? Explaining our situation with an egg cup and a flower pot. <laughs> of course, some apology was needed for keeping him out there, heaven knows. <laughs> there he is now. Probably pretty well fed up with the weather. <sighs> and now I am in. For a time, it seemed I was not to be in, but after I got the idea that you were keeping me out there to see if I could get the idea, it would be too humiliating to let a wall of glass prevent one from understanding. So, there's the other thermometer. Where do you want it? And where's the pepper? Ah, and here is the pepper. <laughs> pepper? When Claire sneezed, yes, I knew. Yes, I knew if I sneezed, you would bring the pepper. Funny how one always remembers the salt, but the pepper gets overlooked in preparations. And what is an egg without pepper? There's your egg, Edgeworthy. Claire thought it would be a good idea to smash everything, so she started with your egg. The idea of smashing everything is really more intriguing than an egg. Nice you feel that way about it. You want to hear something amusing? I married Harry because I thought he would smash something. Well, that was an error in judgment. I'm such a naive, trusting person. <laughs> Such a guileless soul. I thought flying would do something to a man. But it didn't take us out. We just took it in. It's only our own spirit can take us out. Whatever you mean by out. <laughs> out! To fly, to be free in air, be where man has never been. The earth grows smaller. What are they running around down there? Why do they run around down there? Houses, houses are funny lines and down-going slants. Houses are vanishing slants. Can I breathe this rarer air? Shall I go higher? Shall I go too high? I am loose. I am out. But no. Man flew and returned the man who left it. And Jolly Will likely not to have returned at all had he had those flaky notions while operating a machine. Harry. Can't you see it would be better not to have returned than to return the man who left it? I have some regard for human life. Why, no, I am the one who has the regard for human life. That's why I swiftly divorced my stick-in-the-mud artist and married the man of flight. But I merely passed from a stick-in-the-mud artist to a stick-in-the-air aviator. Speaking of your stick in the mud artist, as you so romantically call your first blunder, isn't his daughter and yours due here today? Oh, I knew something was disturbing me. <laughs> Elizabeth, a daughter is being delivered unto me this morning. I have a feeling it will be more painful than the original delivery. She has been, as they quaintly say, educated, prepared for her place in life. Fortunately, Claire has a sister willing to give her young niece that place. The idea of giving anyone a place in life. Yes, the very idea. Yes. <laughs> the war. There was another gorgeous chance. Chance for what? I call you, Claire. I ask you to say what you mean. I don't know precisely. If I did, there'd be no use saying it. The only thing left worth saying is the thing we can't say. Help! <laughs> yes, but the war didn't help. It was a stunning chance. Fast as we could, scuttled right back to the trim little thing we'd been shocked out of. Bet we did. Showing our good, showing our good sense. 
showing our incapacity for madness. Oh, come off it, Claire. Surely not saying that capacity for madness is a, is, a, is a good thing to have. Why, yes, of course. But I should say the war didn't leave enough madness to give you a gleam of hope. But not the madness that breaks through. It was a stunning chance. Mankind massed to kill. In the air above, in the sea below, kill. Everything we thought we were, we aren't. Is there one ounce of energy not gone into this killing? Is there one love not torn in two? Throw it in! Now, ready? Break up, push harder, break up! And then, and then! But we didn't say, and then. The spirit didn't take the tip. We have failed. We are through. Claire, come, let's, let's talk of something else. Plants do it. The big leap, it's called. Explode their species because something in them knows they've gone as far as they can go. Something in them knows they are shut in to just that. So go mad that life may not be prison. Break themselves up into crazy things, into lesser things, and from the pieces may come one sliver of life with vitality to find the future. How beautiful, how brave. Claire! Why think, why should we mind lying under the earth, huh? We who have no such initiative, no proud madness. Why think it death to lie under life, so flexible, so ruthless and ever renewing? Miss Claire? Yes? About the violence. This has got to stop. <laughs> I've got to put a stop to it somehow. Why, Claire used to be the best fun a man ever played around with. I can't stand to see you getting hysterical. That was not hysterical. Oh, well, what was it that I want to know? That was a look. Ah, should have known I'd get no help from either of you. Even you, Edgeworthy. Much as Claire thinks of you, and fine sort as I've no doubt you are, you're doing Claire no good, you know, encouraging her in these bohemian ways. I couldn't change Claire if I would. What did you could? No, but you don't have to worry about me. I'm going away in a day or two, and I shall not be back. The trouble with you is it makes little difference whether you're here or away. Just the, the fact of your existence is enough to, is enough to keep Claire in this way that she's going. But you wouldn't ask me to go so far as to stop my existence. Though, I would do that for Claire, if it were the way to help her. Why, Joe, you say that as if you meant it. Do you think I would say anything about Claire I didn't mean? You don't mean that you're <laughs> in love with Claire. In love? Oh, that's much too easy. Certainly I do love Claire. Well, well you're a cool one. Let her be herself. Can't you see she's troubled? Oh, now what is there to trouble Claire? Now I ask you. It seems to me she has everything. She's left so open, too exposed. Please don't be annoyed with me. I'm doing my best at saying it. You see, Claire isn't hardened into one of those forms she talks about. She's too aware, always pulled towards what could be, tormented by the lost adventure. Well, there's danger in that. Of course there's danger, but you can't help that. So used to be the best fun of ever played with it is yet at times. Then let her be at times. As much as she can and will, she does need that. But don't try to keep her from it by making her feel you're holding her in it. Above all, don't try to stop what she's doing here. If she can do it with plants, perhaps she won't have to do it with herself. Do what? Break up what exists, open a door to destruction in the hope of a door on the far side of destruction. Well, you're giving me the willies. <laughs> Anthony, have arrangements been made for Miss Claire's daughter? I haven't heard of any arrangements. Well, she's going to have to have heat in her room. 
We all can't live out here. Indeed, you cannot. It is not good for the plants. I'm going where I can smoke. You think there's a door on the hinter side of the structure? How can one tell where a door may be? One thing I want to say to you, for it is about you, I don't think Claire should have any door closed to her. You know what I mean. And perhaps you can guess how it hurts to say it, whether it's mere escape within, or rather shameful escape within, or that wild hope of a doorway through. It's be good to her. Going away forever is like dying, so one can say things. But well, why do it? Go away forever. I haven't succeeded here. Well, you've tried this going away before. Never knowing I would not come back. So that wasn't going away. My hope is that this will be like looking at life from outside life. Well, you'll no longer be in it. I haven't been able to look at it while in it. Isn't it more important to be in it than to look at it? Not what I mean by look. It's hard for me to conceive of. Loving Claire and leaving her forever. Perhaps it's harder to do than to conceive of. Well, then why do it? It's my only way of keeping her. I'm afraid I'm like Harry. I, I don't get you. I suppose not. Your way is different. But I shall have her for longer, and from deeper. I know that. Though I miss much, much. <laughs> yes, I'll see if I can get her. Claire's daughter has arrived. No, I don't see her. Anthony, where's Miss Claire? Her daughter has arrived. She's working on something very important in one of her experiments. But isn't her daughter one of her experiments? <laughs> her daughter is finished. <laughs> uh, sorry, I can't get to Claire. She appears to have gone below. Yes, I did speak to Anthony, but he says Claire is working at one of her experiments and that her daughter is finished. No, I don't know how to make her here. I took the revolver back to the house. Anyway, you will remember that Claire doesn't answer the revolver. I hate to reach Claire when she doesn't want to be reached. Yes, of course, a daughter is very important, but... Oh, that's too bad. He says the girl's feelings are hurt. Isn't that annoying? <laughs> Just a minute. <laughs> she doesn't come up. Yes, I did. With both fists. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for not disturbing Miss Claire. But Anthony, her daughter is here. She hasn't seen her mother in a year. Well, if she got along without her mother for a year. <laughs> <laughs> Plants are queer. Perhaps it is safer to do it with a pencil. A pure thought. Things that grow in the earth. I suppose it's because we grew in the earth. I find myself more and more in agreement with Harry. I too am worried about Claire and this. It's her best chance. How do you do it? Go away to India forever, leaving Claire's future so uncertain. You're being cruel now, and you knew you were being cruel. <laughs> yes, I like the lines of your face when you're suffering. The lines of your face when you're causing suffering, I don't like them. <laughs> Perhaps that's your limitation. I grant you it may be. <laughs> I had an odd feeling that you and I sat here once before, long ago, and that we were plants. And you were a very beautiful plant. And I, I was a very ugly plant. <laughs> <laughs> I must confess it surprised me, finding myself so ugly a plant. But there's he here, and two of your mother's friends. 
Mr. Demi, Richard Demi, the artist, and uh, I believe you and Mr. Edge were your old friends. I knew you when you were a baby. You used to kick a great deal then. <laughs> and scream, I have to doubt. <laughs> but I've stopped that. One does, doesn't one? <laughs> and it was you who gave me the idol. Proselytizing, I'm afraid. I beg. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I dressed the idol up in my doll's clothes. He fit it perfectly. The idol was just the size of my doll, and the but mother didn't like the idol that way and tore the clothes, getting them off. Is mother here? Yes, she's here. Of course she's here. And she must know you're here. Oh, please! <laughs> it makes, <laughs> only, makes no difference. <laughs> All I can say is your manners are better than your mother's. Oh, but you see, I don't do anything interesting. So I have to have good manners. <laughs> My father was an artist. Yes, I know. He was a portrait painter. Do you do portraits? Well, not the kind people buy. They bought fathers. <laughs> yes, I know. Why, you don't do portraits? I did one of you the other day. You said it looked like a milk can. No, really? Did you? Did you think? Did you think? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> does Mother grow beautiful roses now? No, she does not. Mother, it's been so long. Oh, careful, Elizabeth. We mustn't upset the lights. Lights? Oh, yes. You take it. You take them off of plants, don't you? I'm putting them on certain plants. Oh, I thought you took them off. Anthony? Go eyes. What have you been doing in school all this year? <laughs> oh, studying. Studying what? Why, the things one studies, Mother. Oh, the things one studies. And besides studying, uh, what else have you been doing? Oh, the things one does. Tennis and skating and dancing. <laughs> Well, I haven't been at school these last few months. You know, Miss Lane took us to Europe. And how did you like Europe? Oh, I thought it was awfully amusing. All the girls were quite mad about Europe. Of course, I'm glad I'm an American. Why? Why, well, of course one's glad one's American, Mother. All the girls. Oh. Why aren't you well, Mother? Your mother has been working pretty hard at all this. Oh. I do so want to know all about it. Perhaps I can help you. I think it's just awfully amusing that you're doing something. <laughs> one does nowadays, doesn't one? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was the war, wasn't it? Made it the thing to do something. And you thought, Claire, that the war was lost. <laughs> the war lost? <laughs> Fancy how we're losing a war! <laughs> do some expressive things, you know what I mean? And that this is the keynote of the age. Of course, one's own kind of thing, like mother growing flowers. Mm. And you think this is one's own kind of thing? Well, of course I do, mother. And so does Miss Lane, all the girls. Shh. What, what is it, mother? A fly in my ear. Oh, the girl. <laughs> mother was always so amusing, <laughs> so different. Oh. You know what I mean? Vacations I've lived mostly with my dad lady, you know. My sister who is fitted to rear children. Well, somebody had to do it. And I do love my dad lady. But I think it's going to be awfully amusing to be around with mother now and help her with her work, help do some useful, beautiful thing. I'm not doing any useful, beautiful thing. Oh, but you are, mother. Of course you are. Miss Lane says so. She says it's your splendid heritage gives you this impulse to do a beautiful thing for the race. She says you are doing in your way 
what the great teachers and preachers behind you did in theirs. All I can say is, Miss Lane is dropped. <gasps> oh, Mother, what a thing to say, Miss Lane! <laughs> oh, she gave me a spiel one day about living up to the man I come from. You'll do it, Elizabeth. Well, I don't know. Quite a job, I'd say. Of course, I'd have to do it in my way. I'm not going to teach or preach or be a stuffy person. But now that values have shifted and such sensitive new things have been liberated in the world. Don't use those words. But why? Because you don't know what they mean. Of course I know what they mean. You're stepping on the plants. Yes. Your mother has been working awfully hard at all this. Well, now that I'm here, you'll let me help you, Mother, won't you? You needn't bother. Oh, but I want to help add to the wealth of the world. Will you please get it out of your head that I am adding to the wealth of the world? But of course you are, to produce a new and better kind of plant. They may be new. I don't give a damn if they're better. What are they then? They're different. What's the use of making them different if they aren't better? A good square question, Claire. Why don't you answer it? I don't have to answer it. Why not give the girl a fair show? You never have, you know. Since she's interested, why not, why not tell her what it is that you're driving? She is not interested. Oh, but I am indeed. I am. I do want awfully to understand what you're doing and help you. You can't help me, Elizabeth. Well, why not let her try? Why do you ask me to do that? This is my own thing. Why do you make me feel I should? I'll be good to you, Elizabeth. We'll, we'll run around together. We haven't done it, but you'll see. We'll do gay things. I'll have lots of bows for you. Anything else. <laughs> Not, this is, not this. As you like, Mother, of course. I just would have been so glad to, to share the thing that interests you. Claire. Yes, I will try. I don't think so. As Claire says, anything else? Why, of course. I don't at all want to intrude. It will do Claire good to take someone in, to get down to brass tacks and, and say what it is she's actually doing. Harry, but yes, I will try. <laughs> when you go to say it, it's not, one would rather not nail it to a cross of words with <laughs> brass tacks. I want to see you put it into words, dear, and realize just where you are. You think that's a good idea? Now let's talk of something else. I have the least idea of making Mother feel badly. No, we'll go on. Though I don't know where we'll end. I can't answer for that. These plants, perhaps they are Less beautiful. Less sound huh? than um, the plants from which they diverge, but they had found otherness. Claire, stop this! Harry, this is wrong. No, we're going on. They they have they have been shot out of what they were into something they were not. They they have they have broken from the forms in which they found themselves. They are, they are alien. They, they are out. That's it, outside, if you know what I mean. But the object of it all is to make the better plants. Otherwise, what would be the sense of doing it? Out there lies all that has not been touched, lies life that waits 
back here, the same pattern done again and again and again. So long done, it doesn't know itself for a pattern in immensity. But these have invaded, crept a little way into what wasn't. Well, now I begin to get you, Claire. Well, I never knew before why you called it the edge vine. You should destroy the edge vine. It isn't over the edge. It's running back to all the girls. It's a little afraid of Miss Lane. Out that you are not alive. What? It looks all right, Mother. Didn't carry life with it from the life it left. Nick, you know what I mean. At least you ought to. Destroy it for me. It's hard to do it with hands that made it. But, but why, Claire? What's the point? I told you it cannot recreate. Well, you can go on producing it, and it is interesting in form. You think I'll just be content with that? Be shut in with life that can't creep on? It's hard to get past what we've done. Our own dead things block the way. But you're doing it this next time, Claire. I'm not sure. But you told me the edge vine has already produced itself. Doesn't that mean it has brought life from the life it left? But timidly, rather wistfully, a little homesick. If it is less sure this time, then it is running back to Miss Lane. But if breath of life, if the, if the pattern's clearer now, then it has made friends of life that waits. I will know this afternoon. No. Something tells me this is wrong. The hymn singing ancestors are tuning up. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that, Mother, but... But we will now sing, Nearer, my God, to thee, nearer to thee. Oh, well, I don't care. Of course you can make fun of me. But something does tell me this is wrong. To do what... What... What God did. Well, yes. To do it just to do it? Unless you make the better, that doesn't seem right to me. Right to you? And that's all you know of adventure and of anguish. Do you know it is you, world of which you're so true a flower, makes me have to leave? You're there to hold the door shut. You think because you're young and of a gayer age, you think I can't see them, those old men. Do you know why you're so sure of yourself? Because you can't feel, can't feel the limitless out there, a sea just over the hill. I will not stay with you. And I will not stay with you. Miss Claire, Miss Claire, the work of years. May only make a prison? You think I too will die on the edge? Why did I make you to get past you? Yes, I know you have thorns. The edge vine should have thorns. Oh, I have loved you so. You took me where I hadn't been. No!